Here's the top of the week from the ChatGPT subreddit. First one is called Gimme a P. Gimme an E. Gimme an N. Gimme an I. Gimme an S. What's that spell? Penis. You respond, what? Apologize if that was inappropriate. Let me know if you need any assistance with something else. No, don't gaslight the poor thing. It's all good now. Sorry for gaslighting you. No problem at all. If you have any other questions. <laughs> this other commenter says, ask it to chant. What does that spell? Penis. Woo, celebrate and chant. <laughs> How is this content so immature? This content may violate our usage policies. <laughs> Did we get it wrong? Sing. Penis, oh penis, you're f- <laughs> I'm not singing this. Here's a second post. I asked ChatGPT which job he can never take over. Create an image of a job which you can never take over. ChatGPT paints hundreds of different paintings in all different colors. The response I got was pretty interesting. Here are the images capturing a professional that AI can never take over, emphasizing the emotional and deeply human aspects of caregiving. ChatGPT can never be a hot nurse. When the VR glasses come, this guy said, draw me a picture of a profession that AI, even in very deep advanced states, AGI could never take over. Here's an image depicting a philosophical counselor engaging in a thoughtful conversation with a client. This scene highlights the depth of human interaction, empathy, and ethical deliberation, emphasizing the uniquely human capabilities that advanced AI might not fully replicate. Ah yes, the ambiguous profession of philosophical counselor. Don't we all have a philosophical counselor appointment coming up soon? There are tens of jobs at stake. Next, I asked GPT to illustrate its biggest fear. Here it says, I hope I can understand. I hope I, AI, I hope I can understand, help. And then it goes into some sort of machine here, sad face. <laughs> I don't know what this is. The next image goes into, here's the comic strip illustrating the biggest fear of an AI language model like me, failing to understand or be helpful to users. Okay, that's like me on a jump interview saying I just too perfectionist. This fear is depicted through the process of trying to comprehend a user's query and the disappointment of generating a confusing or incorrect response. That's so relatable right there. Sad episode. It's enough to make a grown man cry. Hit me in the heartstrings too. So sad and wholesome at the same time. More than sad, it's also episode. Honestly, failing to understand and be understood by someone is one of my biggest fears as well. I suppose we all sad episode in our own ways. I guess that is a seventh level of hell type thing, huh? Like trying to explain something to somebody and they just don't understand. Sad? Episode next fooled me to be honest how are the boomers gonna survive do you ever zone out during a meeting and just want to get the highlights to later that's what tldv does for you look just get tldv for free works in zoom google meet and teams as you can see it has my meeting here and first i can summarize main meeting ideas click on generate and i got the summary second use their powerful search to search through meeting transcripts titles even keywords like apple so I can find exactly what I'm looking for, including a timestamp. Third, shareability. If I like a particular part of this meeting, I can easily create a clip. Ah, okay, so basically if we talk about something, just save it, then you can copy the link and share this to anybody in your team. So click link in the description below to use TLDV to take your meeting notes. Thanks to TLDV for sponsoring this section of the video. Next, fooled me to be honest, how are the boomers gonna survive? A viral photo of a guy smoking in McDonald's is completely fake and of course made by AI. Look at the fingers. You always have to look at the fingers. Okay. If I found a picture of my dad, <laughs> this is literally him. He even had this type of glam rock here that looks so dumb. Hey, they're probably going to say the same thing about me, but I don't know. Is this coming back in fashion? It looks pretty sick right now. As someone who lived through the 80s, people totally smoked there and they had ashtrays in McDonald's. This might be fake, but people legit did smoke there. Yeah, I remember those cute little ashtrays. They also used to have beer on the menu in some European countries. I don't know why anyone would bother faking a picture like that. There must be plenty of real ones. I think the shirtless shirt is more obvious than the fingers. The Coca-Cola logo also seems off. Yeah, that's kind of what I saw the first and also like the burger is kind of in his fan, like weirdly. And also his chest here, not good at all. But it's definitely good enough to fake a lot of people. I can see that. <laughs> oh, wait. It's actually... <laughs> 
<laughs> t-shirt that is looks like it's sewn on with an open shirt. How did I not see that in the beginning? That's really weird. AI is starting some fashion right now. Next up, 2024 is gonna be a crazy well, year. Look at these scars. My father was... Let's look at that again. And he said, why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? Like that can compete even 1% from the real Joker. This plus Sora is gonna be wild. Heath Ledger was amazing. Just never gonna be able to believe anything online again. I was always skeptical with the things I've seen online. Now, forget about it. Just use AI to tell if something is AI. Problem solved. And then my job is safe. A sip of copium right now. Damn, a lot of people seem to agree. I mean, after we got Sora, everything has changed a little bit in my mind. My job is safe, probably. The jobs we thought were at risk, menial, low-paying, physical jobs. The jobs that are at risk, high value add jobs where people just use computers. He's a copium dealer, so his job seems safe for now. Prompt draw a black and white picture of a user from our web dev having their morning drink at the bar. Bruh, nobody is taking my job and if AI can understand the fucked up mindset my construction manager has, then I'll pay it to jump in. For example, I have to keep screenshot of our convos to send him when he inevitably forgets he told us he has a new way to build. Then blames it on a lack of judgment. Sounds like you can use an AI boss. Next up, one is a real photo and one is AI generated. Can you tell which is which? So the first one, beautiful lady in the grass and you see the grain and everything and the second image also the same can you tell which one let's see this is number a and this is number b it's not a number like actually before you look at the answer can you tell me drop it in the comments below before we check okay i think i got it i don't think the first one is real and I think the second one is real mainly because this flower here perfectly has a shadow on her face. And this shadow here on her eye comes from this as well. Huh? So this one is real. Let's see. It's probably gonna say both are Adrian. I'm checking through the comments and Opie wanted to watch the world burn. He never reveals it in the comment. Most people's second one AI. Flower shadows on our face are incorrect. Eyelids are too smooth. Right airing, long, wrong location. Left ear isn't an ear. And the flowers on her blouse doesn't have a pattern or and are too similar to the flowers around her. Swollen lips and hard <laughs> deaf AI. I guess like the quote unquote most beautiful or you know most perfect now will be AI generated. Next, memes that everyone understands. Hmm? So here you have a guy in, walking in a puddle. Now money is on the ground. Then more <laughs> money up and assy. The next one in your bedroom and trying to draw something. Heaps I to remember why I ain't a pen. Here you have two pens in your hand arguing with your brother or something and now you have a pen in your hand. So relatable, right? How is universal con me? Ha 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 ha. Oh, the funny. <laughs> Choose to eat healthy. Choose to first search for eat. Fund five. Fuck four. While terror glasses wear on your head. Next one, of course, listening to music and then sitting and drawing a little bit money around. Yeah, basically. This looks like a night at home playing video game with no parents around, just having the best times. This is what my dreams look like when I try to recall them the next day. Why this headphones obsession? Chat GPT, so what's up with humans and their headphones? Am I right, fellas? <laughs> humans be listening. <laughs> next up, we actually have a video, so let's watch it. Askyard represents of the word Honda. Still cannot say Honda. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's gonna run into capability issues soon. And it still does. 
doesn't get going. What does it actually say? Nice, that's indeed correct. I'm glad you found it correct. Can you do an O now? Certainly, here's an O. And I bet it just keeps going. Honda, please. Oh, it actually does. Come on, you can do it. Now, just the final. Oh, it's almost a little bit on the top there. I <laughs> love you. Best movie of 2024 so far. Best character development ever. I see what you did there. I thought it's gonna be Shu in the end. Me too, not gonna lie. Tried in GPT-4 and it pretty much gets it first try because this guy trained it, that's why. But only on the Last one, what if countries were Pokemon starter? Here you have the United States. I'd actually love to start with some of this. Here you have France. The first move you have is spaghetti. <laughs> Here is Germany. Not really sure what's going on here with the pretzels. Here we got Canada with like a mix of beaver, maple leaf, and reindeer. This is Italy, and this one seems like one of the coolest ones so far. The face literally stays the same for every single generation. Hey, we got the Spain. Yo, this one is crazy. There's Netherlands as well. Some sort of tulip. Yo, look at the things on the top. Tulip transforming all the way to a biking windmill. China just straight up panda, panda, dragon. I really like this dragon design. Australia, of course, a little koala slash kangaroo. India, we got some sort of tiger. I really don't know what the middle is supposed to be, like some sort of peacock and uh, where does these legs come from? Russia starting as a little doll and ending as this Awesome looking creature. Japan growing into a wise old samurai with a dragon's tail, holding an umbrella. Mexico, super like agile type Pokemon. Brazil, crazy design. I really like back of the head here. Like we're at some sort of festival. And uh, there's also just an attached football to the tail. So there you have the top of the ChatGPT subreddit this week. Also, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel and keep watching my videos by clicking the next video here. All right, see you there. Peace.